we get traded from San Diego, get a call this morning. Okay, you need to be in Kansas City on a flight tomorrow. We have a house packed with everything from us for baby <laughs> stuff. We need to be in Boston. We need to find a place to live. We need to move. We need to do all these things. And for me, it was such a relief and a help for me because I didn't have to worry about any of that. Cases like just go focus on baseball. I will take care of all that stuff. So that was stuff that getting through that work, getting through that time to hear Kay say that took just the weight of the world off of my shoulders because here we are ready to have a baby. Case is pregnant, ready to pop. And we have to move halfway across the country, find a house, move into that house, figure out where we're going to have the baby born, <laughs> find a new doctor. I mean, talk about the real MVP of a situation. Oh, always. Same thing with Steph. I would yeah. love to ask Steph that. How, how do you go about that? That's so hard. But take us through that. So how, how did you, how were you able to take that release of stress off of me? Here's the thing. I think that was, it was very hard for both of us because we had a life that we had built in San Diego. We got engaged while we were with the Padres. I had, to your point, I made incredible friends there. I was like one of the team moms there, if you will. So um, it was difficult. I think, I think when something like that happens, and you can attest to this because you've been traded before, is you're almost in a shock, like survival. And I, listen, there are military families. There are people who are in survival mode and people who do have husbands working with their literal lives on the line and, and first responders and it's not the end of the world. Like that's what I wanna say right now. It is overwhelming, it is blindsiding, it is exhausting, but everyone has their health and happiness and it's all gonna be okay. That said, I knew that you were going to Kansas City right away. So I was like, this is going to be a great first step for you. I had worked in Boston for, for three years with Nesson. So I was so excited to be going to Boston. My family's in Pennsylvania. If you're going to go to a new city, Boston is the biggest, baddest with healthcare. I mean, I'm like, I will find somebody to deliver this baby and it will be the tip top of, of um, care. So we moved, we found a place, um, moved in in like two weeks time. But you were such a support the whole time. I mean, you were right there with me. I, I will never forget we had Jack and I was for sure PPD, postpartum depressed, for sure. But I was, you know, I, I think of myself as a very mentally strong person. We've all talked about our struggles and, and what goes on internally and the horrible things you tell yourselves. Um, and I just denied it. I was like, I'm fine. I don't need medicine. I'm great. And I'll never forget, Jack was like a week old and you were holding him in our room and I was just crying uncontrollably. And I was like, I don't know what's wrong. I just have a bad mom and I was terrible. And you're like, I don't know what to say to help you, but you're not a bad mom. And, and I promise everything's going to be okay. And I'm here for you and I love you. And I was like, okay. But it was just terrible. Then you probably got me a glass of wine and it was fine. And everything's but, um, you learn as you go and nothing is perfect and nothing is foreseeable and hindsight is twenty twenty. And that's even what, with this baby, I'm thinking, I'm like, how are we gonna do it? We're moving again and it's a career change again, you know, with you starting this podcast. And we talked about that. What is it called when everything changes at one time and it's a life change? There's two things that you said happen. Oh, are you talking about the forming, storming, norm? Yes, forming? that one. Oh, oh, yes. oh, got it, yes, got it, yes, 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 yes. So how does that okay. pertain to what goes on in baseball? Because at the surface, to your point, it's just like, oh, we got traded, we have to find a new house and I'm gonna wear a new uniform and I have to make new friends. Like, yes. but that's not it.